this is our hidden bookcase doorway here. We come over and we pull the wine book. That opens it up and we are into our little speakeasy pub. This is uh, Kennedy's Pub. It was established in 2014. Basically, when I built the house when I was uh, 28, I built it with the idea that eventually I'd put a pub in the basement for football Saturdays. So uh, for years, I searched for pubs on the internet and you know restaurants that might go out of business and those type of things. And off of a chance meeting at the Colada Irish Pub on Polaris Parkway, I uh, spoke with the bartender and asked him if they ever sold any of their memorabilia and those type of things. Uh, a few months later, I got a call from one of their uh, vice presidents that said that they were shutting the pub down and that he'd give me the uh, first shot at being able to get Kennedy's Irish Pub started. Well, and I know that this has always been a dream of his, so this was something that we said, okay, we're going to go ahead and do this. But then when my first question was, well, where are the blueprints? And then all I started seeing were little like scratches on notebook paper between he and his contractor. You know, I'm a big about my Irish heritage and those type of things. So my goal was to put a pub in the house where if I blindfolded you and brought you into the basement, you'd think you went back in time and you were at an Irish pub in Ireland. So, you know, obviously with plasma screen TVs, but you, you get my point. This is the uh, back side of the, the pub. We have our, our tap box, our ice bin, all of our cold, and we keep our glasses cold, all of our spirits and those type of things, and our ice maker, obviously cash register right back here. This is our touchdown bell. So that's on Saturdays as we ring the touchdown bell when the Irish score, we celebrate. This is actually the Irish pub restroom. Now this was a stained glass window that was in between the booths at Colada that we had made into a door, and obviously, no pub is complete without a uh, stall in the Irish pub bathroom. Why, why the whole project came together? Uh, well, I was born and raised in Columbus, Ohio, and I'm a diehard Notre Dame fan, so it's probably not too safe to go out to local bars during the season. So my wife jokes and said, uh, I need to keep you home on Saturdays uh, when you're celebrating the Irish and their victories. We're gonna set that on the frost plate, and that's gonna keep it nice and cold on the little bit of frost we have established here. In Ireland, this is something that I was really excited about. I had never seen one in the United States, except for on Players Parkway. This is called a frost plate. And basically what it does is it keeps your spirit or your, your beer cold so that you don't have that ice to it. So it doesn't dilute the taste. I always told them, all I ever hope is that it's as great and turns out as great as you want it to be. And it far exceeded my expectations. <laughs>